This is um, N dividorial. <laughs> N I. <laughs> Such shitty notation. I'm terribly sorry. That, that was way funnier than I expected it to be. A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. First things first, the first edition of the engineering clock is. Uh, going to be not available soon anymore, only available for one more week and after it's gone, then it's gone. So get yourself one if you haven't done so already. And now we're going to dive right in. We are going to do weird mathematics yet again today. Mathematics gone wrong, done right, basically. This is the end of the video um, where we are going to get the mathematics gone wrong, done right part in. But for now, we're going to take a look at yet another weird expression. Namely, have you ever asked yourself the question, what would happen if you were to divide instead of multiply for the factorial? So instead of one times two times three times blah, 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 up until n, you are doing one divided by two divided by three divided by blah, 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 up until n. Yeah, this is what we are going to talk about today. It's going to be quite some casework because, well, on the one hand, what is meant by dividing repeatedly? We don't know yet. I'm going to give you two ideas with respect to those um, weird diamonds we have talked about before. And also, you know, Division is not really commutative, so 4 over 1 is not the same as 1 over 4. This is why we need to consider two cases of what I call the dividorial. <laughs> nice name, right? You can also call it division factorial. I really don't care. I gave it the name dividorial, so we are going to go with dividorial, right? The other case is if we have, well, n divided by n minus 1 divided by blah 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 up until 1. And, well, two cases, what division means for each and every one of those means four cases and each and every one of those has some nice properties that we are going to talk about. So we are going to dive right in. Let me give you an idea what I mean by repeated division in the first place and after that the second place, all right? So repeated division could be interpreted like we did on the numerator of our fraction diamond. Meaning, this right here is nothing but an expression of the form 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4 divided by blah 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 up until divided by n. And now what you could do is you could say that the 1 half on top is getting multiplied with a 1 third because 2 times 1 is nothing but 2. Okay, then we have 1 half multiplied by 1 third. This new fraction right here, just like with the numerator of the fraction diamonds that we did. And then we have 1 over 2 times 3 divided by 4 gives 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 and so on. Leaving us overall with the first rule of the repeated division here as being 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 times blah 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 up until n. Hey, isn't that pretty cool already? I mean, this right here is the most natural definition of the dividorial you could probably come up with because this is 1 over n factorial and this is already the first cool thing you could see here namely that this right here is just a multiplicative inverse of our n factorial which does make sense because if we do division instead of multiplication re remember division is just the inverse operation to multiplication if you multiply 3 by 1 third you are going to get 1 out of multiplicative identity same should be here multiply n factorial by n dividorial, you are going to get the multiplicative identity, which does make perfect sense, intuitively speaking. And we are going to give the dividorial a new name. Um, I came up with, <laughs> with a very nice notation in the last take. I already had to redo this video like four or five times. I don't know. I suck at recording videos in the last time. I'm, I'm so mush in the head. Um, I came up with n dividorial as just being n and with the factorial sign turned around. I'm, I'm such a freaking genius, all right? So yeah, this is the n dividorial that we are doing here and we're going to go with this notation for the rest of the video. If I'm talking about the dividorial, then we are going to turn this like exclamation mark around. Okay, so this is the first definition you could possibly come up with as the multiplicative inverse. And now, here's the other type of repeated division you could probably come up with. Namely, treating it like the denominator of our fraction diamond. So if we have um, 1 over 2 over 3 over 4 over blah 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 up until n minus 1 over n. Then we could interpret all of those as being just with parentheses here. Let me put an n minus 2 into here too, just for clarification purposes. Meaning, from the bottom 
down upwards. We are going to put bigger and bigger parentheses about all of those, leaving us at the end with something like this right here. And this actually is a nice way of defining the dividori, just because it does make perfect sense no notation wise and using associativity here. So meaning we are going to start off with solving complex fractions from the bottom upwards. So n minus 2 divided by some fraction is just a reciprocal of the fraction multiplied with n minus 2, leaving us with 1 over 2 over blah 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 up until and then n minus 3 over and then we have n minus 2 times n divided by n minus 1. And now remember repeated division we are going to put parentheses around this fraction now this is just this fraction right here bigger parentheses taking the reciprocal of this and then we have blah 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 divided by n minus 3 times n minus 1 over n minus 2 times n and so on. We are going to take a look at numerical values now and see if we can find a certain pattern yet again just like we did with the fraction diamonds. So let us go ahead and let us take a look at some, some easy cases. Let's say 1 divided by 2 divided by 3. Okay, put your parentheses here. So this is 1 over 2 thirds leaving us with 3 over 2. Okay, that was easy. Easy enough. So what about 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4? Okay, put parentheses around here and put parentheses around here. We are going to invert our 3 over 4, leaving us with 1 over 2 times 4 over 3. Put parentheses around here, taking the reciprocal leaves us with 1 times 3 over 2 times 4. Let us do one more iteration and maybe you can already see a pattern when you think about the double factorial that I have introduced in the first diamond fraction video here on this channel. I'm going to make a dedicated um, series on double factorials and, and higher weird factorials like the quadruple factorial in the near future. So stay tuned for that. What about 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4 divided by 5? Okay, put your parentheses here, put your parentheses here and put your parentheses here, leaving us with 1 over 2 over 3 times 5 over 4. Put parentheses here and here, leaving us with, okay, inverting this, going to give us 1 over 2 times 4 over 3 times 5. And now put your parentheses here, leaving us with, taking the reciprocal, 1 times 3 times 5 over 2 times 4. And you might notice something. What about our numerator, for example? Let us go for the numerator. Here we had um, n being equal to 3. Then our 3 was in the numerator. Okay, so n was in the numerator. What about n being equal to 4? Well, then we had our mm, n in the denominator. Uh, what about um, n being equal to 5? Then we would have our 5, our n in the numerator yet again. So meaning overall, our um, n dividorial, <laughs> I hate the symbol, this sucks so much, is being considered in two cases yet again. So for n even and our n odd. So for n even you might find that our n is going to be somewhere in the denominator yet again. I'm going to put n here. And what do we have up here? Well, n minus 1. So um, 4 minus 1 is going to give us 3. And yeah, for the 6 we are going to have 2 times 4 times 6 up there in the, um, num uh, in the denominator. And then we are going to have 1 times 3 times 5 in the numerator. Meaning we are going to get something of the sort n minus 1 up here. But what is this exactly? Well, here we are going to have 2 times 4. This is nothing but 4 double factorial. Here we are going to have 1 times 3. This is going to give us 3 double factorial. Once again we are dealing with double factorials here and you can probably rewrite it in some way using powers of 2 or something. Now. The whole spiel turns around when dealing with the odd case. So what we are having here, this is basically 1 times 3. We are going to have our n double factorial in the numerator. So 3 double factorial, 5 double factorial. So n double factorial in the numerator divided by. Okay, and after that we are going to have our n minus 1. Okay, this is 4, 2 is n minus 1, so 3 minus 1. Our n minus 1 double factorial in the denominator then. And thus we are done. This is n dividorial in this case with um, this definition of division. And it looks quite cool actually. So this is kind of um, kind of funny. They are multiplicative inverses from another if you could say so. But for different cases n even and odd which is kind of um, cool if you ask me. They are not real multiplicative inverses from another but um, I hope you can see where I'm going at. Now we are going to take those two definitions of the division and track it over to 
what we have here, this other dividorial that we could define ourselves naturally. So for the first one, we are going to have something like n divided by n minus 1 divided by blah, 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 up until 2 divided by 1. The cool thing is we can completely um, let the 1 die in the corner here somewhere because something or 1 is just a thing in itself, leaving us with, OK, this time you need to consider something. Here we had the 1 on top of the first fraction, meaning our first fraction is n over n minus 1, meaning our n is going to be always on the top here. n is going to be in the numerator. But what do we have in the, de in the denominator? So here we have n minus 2 over blah, blah, blah. Then we're going to have n over n minus 2 times n minus 1 or n minus 1 times n minus 2. Multiplying this with 1 over n minus 3 is going to give us n over n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, blah, 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 up until 2 times 1. So this is n over n minus 1, blah, 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 up until 2 times 1. Meaning, down here in the denominator, what do we have? We are going to have n over n minus 1 factorial. And this is basically it, but you can go one step further. That looks a bit cooler with regards to the factorial. Yet again, n factorial. If you multiply top and bottom with an n, so expanding this fraction by n, you're going to get n squared over n times n minus 1 factorial by the function equation of the gamma function or the factorial in itself. This is going to give us n factorial. And here, this is another definition you could take into account, but I for myself don't like this definition because it, I don't know, just re, um, doesn't fit with all the other cases we are considering here. So yeah, just um, take it as some kind of definition for the dividorial. I'm going to write it out yet again, n dividorial. And now we are going to take a look at my most favorite case. My most favorite case is just this definition of the dividorial applied to this repeated division. Meaning we are going to get n over n minus 1 over blah 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 up until um, 4 over 3 over 2 over 1 and so on. Putting your parentheses in is going to give you a nice pattern, way nicer pattern than here if you ask me. This is why it's my most favorite definition of out of all of those. So we are going to start off with easy case yet again. Let us go with 3 over 2 over 1. Okay, it's just 3 over 2. That was easy. What about um, 4 over 3 over 2? Okay, don't forget your parentheses. Putting it here, taking the reciprocal leaves us with 2 times 4 over 3 and times 1. I'm going to put it here for clarification purposes. What about 5 over 4 over 3 over 2 over 1? Leaving us with, okay, parentheses here and here. Okay, we are going to invert this. This is 3 over 2 times 4. Uh, 5 over 2 times 4 over 3. Let's put it like this. No, 3 is not equal to 5. Now we're going to take the reciprocal yet again, leaving us with 3 times 5 over 2 times 4. And we can already stop at this point because you might see a pattern. Here we had that our n was alternating between the numerator and denominator. Good thing about this one right here is that our n is going to stay always at the top just because of, well, staying on the top here. It's just a numerator, just like we had here. And that is really good because we are always going to get for n dividorial on this case. Okay, we are going to get here our n was 3, here our n was 4, here our n was 5. We are going to get something with n at the top and something with, okay, 2 is n minus 1, then we have 3 is also n minus 1, 4 is n minus 1. So always n minus 1 yet again. But what do we have exactly? Well, obviously, this is 1 times 3, so this is 3 double factorial over 2 double factorial. 4 double factorial over 3 double factorial, 5 double factorial over 4 double factorial. So those are always double factorials. And now you might notice something. Here's where mathematics gone wrong, done right comes in. This definition of dividorial for this case is the same as this case that we are having here for the odd n. So this is really cool if you ask me, because as a consequence here, what do we have? If our n is odd, then n over n minus 1 over blah 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 up until 2 over 1 is the same as 1 over 2 over 3 over blah 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 up until n. This is what it does tell us. For odd n, this does hold. You can put it into Wolfram Alpha with the parentheses put into the right way. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. But this tells us that for odd n, our division with this definition of repeated division is actually commutative, which I find to be really cool. And this is where mathematics 
gone wrong, done right comes in because this was one question that I was asking myself. When is A over B the same as B over A? Okay, and yeah, this is one of the ways you could define it like this by using repeated division in that manner of the dividorial that we're having here. And I hope you did enjoy this video thus far. And if you did, make sure to consider supporting the channel by taking a look at today's sponsor Brilliant. If you are an avid mathematics explorer like me and like what you saw today, then you might definitely enjoy Brilliant, an online learning platform and app that has tons upon tons of amazing maths exercises up their sleeve. Brilliant's concept is simple, learning by doing, and exactly this easy and approachable take on interactive learning makes their website so special. With Brilliant, you'll unravel concepts bit by bit and build up to an interesting conclusion and discover deep truths in unexpected places. No matter what you're interested in, be it mathematics, physics or computer sciences, Brilliant helps you elevate yourself to new heights by providing you with the best possible interactive learning experience. Best thing is, Brilliant steadily increases their repertoire of new courses each and every month. This month, for example, they've added their brand new math history course. I recommend checking it out because it combines important parts of mathematical history with their well-established interactive learning concept. It works out surprisingly well and it's a lot of fun to work through this brand new course. If you are interested in trying it out for free, make sure to use the code at the top of the description. With it, you are going to get free access to Brilliant, to a big portion at least, and the first 200 people to use the link get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So try it out and support the channel this way. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and recommend channel flag. Don't forget to check out Flamble Naps 2 for more amazing maths content. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Ciao!